Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Patrick here from All Things Mathematics. I'm moving on to the next test question, the next application question. We have to determine the equation of the tangent on this function y equals x squared plus 5 over x squared minus 1 at this x value of 2. Right? So let's pretend that the function maybe looks like this. I know that it doesn't, but just to give you a visual of what's happening here, at this x value of 2, we're going to be finding the equation of this tangent like that. Now, when we find the equation of this tangent, we need two things. We need the full coordinate. We also need the slope of the tangent. Now, notice that we're only given an x value of 2. So if we wanted to find the corresponding y value, we could plug in that value of 2 here into the function. So that would be what? 2 squared plus 5, which would be 9 over 2 squared minus 1, which would be what, 4 minus 1, which would be 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3, right? So the full coordinate is 2 and 3. Let's write it on the side here. Now we have to find the slope of this tangent. And how do we do that? Well, we're going to have to find the derivative of this function and then plug in that x value of 2, and that will give us the slope of the tangent at that specific x value. So to find the derivative here, let's do the quotient rule, right? This is a rational function and it has both variables in the numerator and denominator. So taking the derivative of the top, that would be 2x times the bottom minus <clears throat> the derivative of the bottom times the top like that. And that right there is going to be all over the bottom x squared minus 1 squared. Now from here, you can simplify this if you want. You could also just plug in that x value of 2 here in this unsimplified derivative because we're finding the equation, right? We're not finding, they're not asking us to find a simplified expression for the derivative. However, if you did want to simplify, okay, I'm noticing I could take out a 2x here from both of these. So I'd be left with x squared minus 1 minus this entire bracket, x squared plus 5, you got to keep that in brackets like that. That's going to be all over x squared minus 1 squared. And then if I distribute the negative inside this bracket, notice the x squares will cancel out. Then we'll have negative 1 minus 5, which would give us negative 6 times the, 12, uh, times the 2x would give us negative 12x. And that's going to be all over x squared minus 1 squared like that. Okay, and now if we wanted to find the slope of the tangent at that specific x value, we got to plug in that x value of 2 into the derivative here. So that would give us what negative 24 uh, for the numerator and then 2 squared 4 minus 1 is 3, 3 squared is 9. And then uh, this simplifies to what negative 8 over 3. So that right there ends up being our slope of the tangent. And so now we could find the equation, right? So what we would do is we would plug in that slope negative 8 over 3x plus b like that. And then we have to solve for that b value by plugging in this full coordinate for both x and y. So plugging in 3 for y and then plugging in 2 for x. So we'd have 3 equals negative 16 over 3 plus b. This 3 is like over 1. Now, if we've got a common denominator here, that'd be like 9 over 3. Bring the negative 16 over 3 over. That becomes positive is equal to b. So we get a b value of 25 over 3, which does not simplify any further, right? So our final answer would be negative 8 over 3x plus 25 over 3, like that. That would be the full equation of the tangent on this function at an x value of 2. And that is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want to find more videos like this, you can go to my website, allthingsmathematics.com. Over there, all my courses are organized for both high school and university. All the videos are organized by chapter. Also, if you have any questions, you can hit me up. My contact details are also on the website. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.